In this section, I am going to explain the concept of dominant epistasis. Let us understand what exactly is epistasis. Epistasis means suppression of a gene by another gene. Now here the gene which is getting suppressed is at one locus and the gene which is suppressing it is at another locus. Let us take an example to understand this. Say there are two genes, gene A and gene B. Gene A is getting suppressed by gene B. So the gene which is suppressing the other gene is known as epistatic gene and the gene which gets suppressed is known as the hypostatic gene. Now here we are saying that B is the epistatic gene and A which is getting sup suppressed is the hypostatic. Now in which form can B suppress A? There are three options. It can be homozygous dominant or heterozygous or the third situation is the recessive. If epistatic gene suppresses in its dominant form, then it will be called dominant epistasis. And if it suppresses in its recessive form, then it will be recessive. Recessive epistasis. In this section, we will be talking about the dominant epistasis. Let us take an example. In summer squash, scientific name of summer squash is cucumber pepo. In this plant, there are three types of fruits. Types here are the colors. One is white, the second type is yellow and the third is green. If the epistatic gene here which is W is present in its dominant form will not let the Y express that is for the yellow color. So if the condition is homozygous dominant for the epistatic gene or heterozygous dominant for the epistatic gene, the yellow color will not be able to express itself. Let us plot a cross, a white plant, white fruit plant is crossed with a green one. This one is white. The reason is there is epistatic gene that is W present in a dominant form and the second one the dominant gene is not here that is epistatic gene is not present here and even the yellow gene or yellow color gene is also not in its dominant state so this fruit color would be green. The gametes produced by the white fruit colored plant would be with capital W and Y all four gametes 
and in case of the green plant it's going to be both the recessive genes so in f1 that is first generation all 16 offsprings would be heterozygous for both the genes phenotypically they are all going to be white the reason for them being white is the epistatic gene that is w is in its dominant stage though it is heterozygous but it is dominant so does not let the expression of y take place and that is why all 16 offsprings are going to be white in f2 that is next generation if two f1s are selfed then in that case both are heterozygous they will produce four types of gametes and both recessive both the plants will produce the same types of gametes now if we plot the punit square the punit square is going to look like this where we have taken the gametes of one plant on this side and the gametes from the other plant here now let us see what will be the phenotype of all these 16 offsprings this plant will produce white fruits reason the epistatic gene is dominant and it is not letting the yellow express itself that is why it is white that means for formation of white there has to be the dominant gene in its or epistatic gene in its dominant form so this is also going to be white here also one capital or dominant w is there though y's are also dominant but they are hypostatic so this will also be white white again here hypostatic gene is recessive but the epistatic gene is dominant so this again is going to be white white here also it's going to be white epistatic again dominant so white white now let us take this situation here there is no epistatic condition the condition required was one dominant w that means now the hypostatic gene will get a chance to express itself so here the fruit color is going to be yellow next situation is same again the epistatic gene is non it, not in its controlling or dominating position so y expresses itself again yellow this one is going to be white white again and the f this situation is again for the expression of yellow because the dominant epistatic condition is not present coming to the last one the epistatic gene is also in recessive form and the hypostatic gene is also recessive so in this situation the third fruit color that is green will be able to express itself so here we get a ratio let us count how many whites are we getting here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so there are twelve white yellows are one yellow here second third so there are three yellows and only one is green So the ratio that we get in this dominant epistasis is 12 is to 3 is to 1. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it has helped you understand the concept of dominant epistasis. If you have any questions, you can email me at neela underscore bakore at yahoo.com.